This is Drew Ludwig giving you that two-minute version of last Sunday's sermon, and it usually takes around 20 minutes, so I've got to go fast. This Sunday, I talked about Jesus' baptism, and when Jesus was baptized, John said that he had his winnowing fork in hand to separate the wheat from the chaff. Usually when we think about religion, we think about joining together and connecting and making things that are dis- disparate one. Uh, religion is related to the word ligament, which means joining together, but there's also a separating. And we're not as keen on separating because separating isn't always fun. In fact, sometimes it hurts. But nonetheless, John says that Jesus is here to separate wheat from chaff. Now, most of us, when we think about it, we go, oh, well, that's pretty good because I'm pretty sure I'm wheat and the chaff is going to get separated from me. But then we keep thinking about it and even that doesn't sound that good for two reasons. One, we start going, well, am I really wheat? Because I don't know about you, but I know about me and I am not always good. Within me, there is good and bad. And I try to see the wheat the good more and more and more, but it's not always there. Sometimes the bad shows up. Other times I think, man, I am friends with some people that are probably more likely chaff, and I don't want to be separated from them. I'm at 1.30, probably not going to make two minutes. This is the three-minute version of the sermon. Anyway, so the wheat gets separated from the chaff, right? Right, but maybe it's not I'm wheat and they're chaff. Maybe we're all wheat and chaff because wheat is one plant, right? And Jesus came to divide all of that from us. Baptism is about separation as much as it is about joining. The stuff that we don't want and need and isn't good in our life, that gets separated and worked out. And the bad news is that that sometimes hurts winnowing and threshing this process of separating wheat from chaff, not a pretty process. Sometimes it takes a power washer to clean us and cleanse us, but it's good in the end. The other thing that I would remind you is that the waters of baptism also join us. Jesus went into the waters of baptism. He's probably the one guy that never needed anything to be separated from him, but he went into the waters of baptism. Why? so that he could join humanity, so that he could join us. And that means that what Jesus was told when he was baptism is also a message to us. You are my child, my beloved. With you, I am well pleased. And we're right there at three minutes, so hear this. You are God's child. You are God's beloved. And God is pleased with you.